Hey, hey everyone! Sorry, the sun's in my eyes, so I kind of have to sit a little forward, but we're gonna start decorating a tree today. Um, my cousin's actually here to help me. This is my cousin Tracy, so you'll see her in the background. Um, I'm gonna turn the tree so you guys can see what it looks like, but Biscuit is also in the background, so she is going to be a pain, most likely. I don't know, I might actually have to lock her up, because she's getting really, as you can hear, she's getting really feisty. Um, so we're gonna kind of see how this goes, and hopefully it goes well. Um, so this is what my tree looks like. It's already fluffed, and lights are on and everything. It is a pre-lit tree. I got this tree from Walmart, or from Walmart, from uh, trying to get all the tree in it. I'm gonna try getting it back as far as I can. Biscuit, stop. You might not get to see the bottom. I, I don't know. I'm trying to get the camera to sit straight, guys. Sorry my hand's in the way. Um, but I got it from uh, Hobby Lobby last year. It is a pre-lit tree. It has pine cones and stuff on it. I will show you a closer view of it when we uh, get finished decorating it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. So here guys, I am going to be starting out with some ribbon and pardon my, um, the way I'm dressed guys, it is, is a weekend, um, and I'm in my PJs just lounging. I mean, if you guys haven't noticed already, this is just, this is real life and I just, I don't know, I, I don't... I really wish I would have pulled down my shirt and back, but when I'm busy doing stuff, I don't necessarily always realize that my back's showing. But anyway, um, it is, <laughs> I'm in my PJs and I'm just kind of chilling, decorating the Christmas tree. I mean, I was lucky to have my cousin around. She wanted to come visit, so, but it is what it is. Um, it's real life and it's, it's just me and I am not one that really gets all decked out but um we're just starting off slow with some black and uh white buffalo check and as what I do is I just kind of start at the top and kind of just um get a little piece and twist it in between a couple of branches and then just work my way down and just slightly turn um I I mean I got this idea kind of more off of um, off of uh, Olivia's romantic home. She does hers with like like uh, garland mesh and stuff, and I'm I'm not really into the mesh, but that's basically what I'm doing. And then I I picked out some of this red and black buffalo check, and I'm just going the opposite direction. That's basically just the the gist of it this stuff is from last year so it's already been cut but I didn't even cut it last year when I was putting it on I just kept it on the roll and just went down and just let it come off the roll when I was doing it and then I cut it down at the bottom so I already had all these pieces already cut because I did this last year but you kind of get the general idea I'm just kind of I mean even you know, you start at a at a higher point and just work your way down and kind of turn it. And I do that even for on the side over here. You'll kind of see me do it. So, like, I'll start on up here at the top and I'll go towards the back and I'll wrap it. And I'll kind of grab it and pull it around. So that's kind of what I do, and if I need smaller pieces, I will grab smaller pieces and bring them around. Tracy thought I needed another one over there, so we figured out where to put it. We kind of put two smaller pieces together and just kind of looped them together to kind of... You don't, I mean, you want to spread them out, but in the same time, you don't want too big of a gap, so. 
and this is how it looks with just a ribbon. Kind of get the general idea. You pull it down to a certain spot and then you just kind of kind of uh, notch it off with with some of the couple of branches of your tree. You guys have to also let me know too if you enjoy what you see here. I want to know if you guys are enjoying watching the decorate with me or if you would just rather me show you after it's all done. Um, so these I got from Hobby Lobby last year. I, I don't know how much they are. I think they're like $7.99 or $5.99 or something like that full price. But I of course I didn't buy those full price. Um, but I had all these from last year. They're the red and uh, black buffalo check and they're supposed to be like poinsettias and I oh I just I fell in love with them when I saw them. They have some really rustic looking bells in the middle of them as you kind of saw when I first showed them to you. And then I have some of these just little white berry type things and I just kind of set them in where I think I needed it. Now we're going to start doing some ornaments and we're just kind of placing them but you'll kind of get the general idea what kind of ornaments I have. I did go very very rustic farmhouse with this. A lot of red trucks. I really loved that that uh, that sign there. Um, I do have a lot of or a few of the Mr. and Mrs. and married and this one is very special to me. I got that from last year from my my sister-in-law so um but I mean I do have a few of those some of them that I picked up that still really go with the farmhouse look um those those bells um I believe Hobby Lobby has similar ones but I honestly think those came from Dollar Tree I got four of them this one I made last year it or not last year, it's actually been two years now. It is actually just a gift card, but I really love the barn and the um, look of it and everything, so I, uh, I put that in my tree. And then you're seeing red trucks. I'm going to be seeing quite a few red trucks in here. If you guys haven't known me yet, I am ecstatic for red trucks. And it's going to be kind of depending on, oh I really like those two, those came from Hobby Lobby last year. Um, it's going to kind of depend on how this video does to guys and to know if I'm going to continue with uh, the decorate with me. If you guys want to see, um, see my kitchen and how I decorate that or see how I decorate the rest of my living room and stuff. This is going to be just the tree for now. And if this goes along real good, um, I will I will continue to do the decorate with me. So you have to let me know what you guys want to see. If you want to see my gingerbread um, kitchen, let me know. Because, I mean, I haven't done it yet. But So majority of these ornaments that I'm putting on the tree that I've been showing you guys, I have gotten from Hobby Lobby. The little pie pan that I just showed you that says Christmas begins with Christ. That came from Hobby Lobby. Um, the little tree market sign that my cousin showed you came from Hobby Lobby. This one came from a thrift store. I thought the little pig was cute. And that one I showed in a haul when we went to South Dakota. I picked it up at their Christmas village thing because I have a little pug now. So I needed a pug ornament. And that's replicating my little my little cat Sylvie. I honestly don't know what happened to the um, the ornament that I had for for my cat Stormy. So I'll have to get another one. Oh, I love the little pig. I have a little cow one too that she shows you. Those I got from Hobby Lobby.
And all of these came left from last year, so hopefully you can find them again, guys. That one, I believe, came from Hobby Lobby as well. The little Mary uh, t tobacco basket looking thing. That one, uh, the little house, is actually from a trip uh, from our honeymoon. Me and When me and my husband went on our honeymoon, I picked it up. Um, the chickens and the little cow, I believe, all came from Hobby Lobby as well. Um, there's a few of them that I am not showing you. Some that I've had for a long, long time. And some that I've actually made. There's the little cow one. Oh, so cute. And then the little trucks. I got a whole bunch of those. I got a little choo-choo. I believe the choo-choo came from Walmart. The one that I just showed you there is actually the, uh, says... First Christmas as Mr. and Mrs. Um, I actually got that from a dear friend of mine for our, um, our, uh, it was a wedding gift, so it was very sweet of her. So that's, that I had to put on there too. And I had a little car. And here's the final product, guys. Um, I did not show putting the star on. My husband usually does that. But here kind of gives you a glimpse of all the cute little ornaments that I have. I have little rolling pins. That one says fa la la. The little buff buffalo white check or buffalo black and white check barns came from Hobby Lobby, like I said. And there's another good look of the poinsettias. The little bell I got from my sister. I don't remember where I got that one, to be honest with you, but the one that says married in 2001. I love that barn in that scene. I, I had to put it in my tree. I think I did that last year as well. All is calm with the little, <laughs> the little, uh, Santa hat on his head. My aunt made those a long time ago. She's not a lo uh, no longer with us, so I had to put them on the tree as well. There's a, little, there's a little wreath with bells. Or with bells, oh my gosh, with beads. And then there's a candy cane as well on my tree. They're both made from my aunt. I do have a little camper. <laughs> it's all decked out. The little, little chickens. I really like those. They look very, very old and rustic. They kind of have a little bit of the faux rust showing them on them and stuff. There's another rolling pin that says Joy. Little lanterns. Little cow. Farmhouse greetings. Some more red trucks. I do believe that lantern one came from um, Walmart. And here's how it looks when it's all lit up at night. I hope you enjoyed this guys and give me some 
comments down below if you really enjoyed these. Um, I hope this give you, gives you guys some inspiration on what you can do with your Christmas tree. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Um, just so you guys are aware, I will not have a video out tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day that me and my family are going to celebrate Thanksgiving. So tomorrow is going to be Saturday. So I will not have a video out for you guys. Sorry for the inconvenience. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. And God bless. And see you in the next one. Bye.